You okay. know what I totally forgot? What? A, a sword. <laughs> you are a pro player. Oh my God, I mean, I should be able to do this with only Wait. a bow, but... What is up guys and welcome to a new episode here on the new Ariador server. As you see we are in a place that you probably haven't seen yet. Uh, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you haven't seen it yet. Because I know Migrator hasn't put out a video of this place yet either. So we are at Migrator and my base. Otherwise known as the Jam base. Because... Um, well, we want to start breeding villagers. Now, this isn't working perfectly yet. Um, I do need to do a lot about it. But as you see, we have a little problem outside. That's what I want to deal with today. As well as that, we uh, have some new members since the last time I've been uh, recording. And those are E. Schrodinger Cat and it's Ender. Um, you will probably see them making videos as well. They have, I think they both put out their first video uh, already. So go and check them out. They will be added into the description below uh, from this video on, of course. And um, yeah, just go check them out. They are uh, awesome. Um, I've known uh, Kat from um, doing the Hermit Quest uh, map as well, because she worked on that as well. Um, on the second map, uh, that that's where I know her from. Uh, so that's that's awesome that she applied here, and uh, we're playing together now. But we have done some something else. As you see, I have an elytra on. This is not an actual elytra. This this is a dragon wing, or dragon wings. So once Optifine releases, you will see that this has a, a special texture. Right now it's just a normal Elytra, but once Optifine is released, it will have a special texture. Um, we are still waiting on Optifine, it's not nearly done yet. Um, so yeah, but uh, anyway, I have some footage from the Dragon Fight, which I want to show you guys. So take a look at that right now. Welcome everyone. We are at our one and only, well not only, uh, end portal, which is very, very far away. Uh, and we are going to take on the Ender Dragon today. So, I guess let's jump in, right? Yeah, yeah. just mentioning the port is already lit because we had a little bit of a problem the first time around and uh, we had to restart this. So, yep. yeah, take two, here we go. Three, little, little row back and oh, sorry, hey. let's go. <laughs> Coordinated. There we go. All right, now very we're in. Coordinated. Wow. Oh, yeah. It, it, uh, what do these endstone do here? It looks like they're duplicated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. I'll throw them away. Okay, a few more blocks to the surface, I think. I still don't have a pickaxe with me. <laughs> I still don't have a sword with me. Let's go, let's go. I, I craft one. Hey, updates can't be installed. Thanks, Windows. I just. <laughs> <laughs> wow, great timing. Ooh, that was my first hit on an entity. Nice. Nice one. Yeah. Now, we did waste some play minutes, by the way, so I I'm really not gonna get that elytra within. No, you're not. Just need to be quick. Yeah. yeah. Hurry up. My only goal for today an elytra within an hour. I don't have a water bucket, that's a problem. Oh, nope, I don't either. I put some water down. It was mainly for like, if you go up the pillars, you can put water to jump back down. Yeah, yeah. But I saw nobody people yet, getting oh. chased by me. <laughs> <laughs> just said, nobody died yet, that's good. And Brad just exploded mid-air by the dragon. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it looked quite majestic how he died. He was thrown off, so I'm not... Really sure how that is. Um, wait, why, why am I getting? Oh, this is dragon threat. Of course. We, we should uh, maybe get rid of the crystals. In water. Oh, that was a good shot. The crystals are gone, try. right? Or is All there one left? There was one. I think that's it now. I, I was like, why, why am I dying? 
Uh, okay, so we, we have, just... don't don't have many of the, those cages in this end, as it seems. Hey, Java updates can't be installed. Yes, I know. Yay! <laughs> How can that? Be? Good job, Paul. Okay. Okay. So, pro tip: don't step in the dragon's breath. Don't you die. It was using that's, a flame bow. This thing is way too loud. Oh, he sets fire to the arrows. What? When he's down there, he deflects arrows, and he was setting fire to them. Oh, that was it. Good job, Dougie. Nice, Dougie. I'm yeah. Dead. Uh, I'm so d okay. I, oh, I I'm wasn't well going to die on this server, but oh well. What well Paul, We didn't get the Elytra. Oh. My dragon's breath, no. No, Jeffy got it. Dang it! <laughs> oh. Is that actually dropping one though? Yay! Oh, yes, it did. It did. It did? Oh. I got it. Nice. Nice. XP. Awesome. Now, we don't have the texture for it yet because Optifine isn't out, but <laughs> once it's out, we will have a custom texture for it and it can't be overwritten with uh, any name either. All right, let's go outside and kill these guys because these guys really need to get out of here. They're annoying and we can actually make ourselves a farm out of these guys. Um, I'm not too sure how I want to do it yet. I guess we want to push them to uh, one spot and um, oh crap and collect all of their stuff there make them kill themselves over there so I need to take this out uh, my grader put that there um, I do need to take that out I will make the land here a little bit longer so they can walk over here as well um, I will probably work with water streams to get them to uh, a single spot and then make them kill themselves uh, on top of... Um, I want to kill you too because I want your gunpowder, please. Um, we'll probably make them kill themselves on um, magma blocks if that works. Otherwise, we can do it on cactuses or on anything else. Uh, make them drop really high. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that, but... For now, I'm going to dig a trench and take this stuff out. And I will see you guys back once I have that kind of stuff done here. All right, it is done. And as you just saw, there was a, a husk here and now it's gone. Uh, I'll still have to do some testing. This is the first night. I just just finished it just just before the night. And as you see, the villagers are breeding again. I don't, I don't know why they weren't breeding, uh, but there are some new guys out there but let's go to the back here um see a zombie it falls in and then we can go down here just make sure to close it off and then they'll die on top of the magma blocks where uh, inside of our minecarts with um hoppers on top of hoppers and therefore we get rotten flesh so this will take probably a while to actually fill up but that's not what we're doing this for. So as you see, they drop down there. I might put signs there so they'll drop down straight away and get rid of those two. Not too sure about that yet. I'll have to see about that. Uh, but this is a nice way to actually be able to save yourself if you drop into it. Um, although it doesn't really matter because if you get on there, you can just shift and jump up again and get into the water straight away again. So it doesn't really matter. Um... But as you see, they will die. Um, I'm not sure if we will be able to catch any drowned with this as well. Uh, we might, since they do pop up every once in a while. Now, I'm not sure if there is any now, but they usually stay right here. Um, sometimes they'll come on to the land, but I'm not too sure if that happens all the time. So yeah, there we have a zombie. I think it's... Uh, gonna be going after me this time but we can just push it in See, there we go it's in and any other uh, mob that comes over here will actually fall in there as well now there is ice below that so it will run straight to there quickly 
Um, we do still need to finish off uh, the walls here. I'm not sure if I will actually do anything with that, but I do want to put a stone brick line on this layer right here. And here we go, we fall in. <laughs> uh, it's easy to get out of anyway. We'll just do this, and then there we are. Uh, so um, I want to do that because you can see the sand over here in the in the corners, as you see in, in the the sides of the crops. So I want to take that away. Not that it's very noticeable, at least not right now. You can see it right over on that side, but uh, that's about it. So let's take a look at our villagers. Um, I'm bring taking my axe out. Uh, I still need to get some better stuff on here because I want to kill the nitwit. Uh, we don't need a nitwit in here. They are un unnecessary, so I'll rather get that spot that the nitwit is taking up to get something else. Um, rot potatoes. We will get those every once in a while. Uh, but here we have a librarian with a thorns and projectile protection 3 and power 3. So this guy is not good. We, we won't keep this guy um, eventually. But for now, it's just here to actually trade more. The nitwits I will get rid of. I don't think... What do we need leather workers for? Is there anything we really need a leather worker for? Um, I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, I don't think so. I, just same goes for the butcher. I don't think we need them. Unless you want to buy food from them. So the guys that we really want, and this is nice to see, we want one good one of those because those are able to, to sell us a lot of different things that are nice to have, like glowstone, um, ender pearls, which we don't need uh, later on, uh, some other stuff. And I see that there's some, some stuff wrong with its texture. Uh, I will take a look at that. That's not my texture. By the way, that's that's from the beta pack. And oh, this guy grew up. What book does he have? Silk Touch for 15 emeralds. See, that is what I'm talking about. That is what we need right there. Um, I'm not sure if I have 15 emeralds. I don't think so. I have seven plus whatever is in here. And there's nothing in here anymore. So that means we will need to trade a little bit. Um, if this guy were to be big, we could trade the Rotten Flesh with it. Uh, is there something else we can trade here? Because the farmers are... So, so Fletcher... We do have two farmers in here. Here we go. But their potato trades are blocked for both of them. So, And they're not the best potato trades yet. So I'm hoping to get a couple more good farmers in here. Um, to actually go and get that we could trade some for some paper uh, I mean we can get we can get this stuff again there is a big farm in, in spawn so we'll go and get paper from there I don't think we will get enough though uh, 31 how much is the paper trade from the silk touch guy actually is this the silk touch guy it's the looting two guy with uh, 28 25 so that is good as well so it's good in, in, in two ways already. See, that's only six. Uh, we will need two more. So, oh wait, actually there's four here. So that makes it enough to actually be able to trade a Silk Touch book with this guy. Um, where do I have my book? There, there is my book. Uh, no, I will keep those in my inventory because we might want to buy something else from him to uh, see what his other trades are. They're probably not going to be any good. There's, there's potatoes on the ground there. <laughs> um, here we go. Grab a Silk Touch book. And now let's see if he replenishes. And uh, let's take a look at what he gets now. Ten books. Uh, three for a bookshelf. Oh, he actually goes to the glass already. That never happened to me, I think. That he goes to that one straight away. Uh, he usually goes to this one first, I think. Uh, it's it, ooh, that's not a bad one. Projectile protection. It's it's bad that it's projectile protection and not something else, but still, projectile protection. Uh, not not too shabby. Um, 
Let's see, do we have someone else? This guy grew up. Do we have coal here? We have coal ore here. But we don't have coal here. I might have coal um, in my little setup area here. I might have some coal over here. Three pieces, of course. Uh, that's it, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I guess I am going back to to town and grab some coal and probably some other stuff. Uh, actually, we have some leather here. That's seven. We need two more pieces of leather. I, I'd rather not get rid of those, actually. So I'm going to fly back to, uh, to, to, to spawn town. Uh, and then you'll know where town is as well from where we are. So we are just back there. Um, and the town is right over this way. So we are very, very close. Um, here uh, to the left, right there. That is uh, East Schrodinger Cat's build, which is amazing, by the way. Uh, go check out her videos if you want to see that thing being built. Um, I'm not sure if there's a video up from it yet. I haven't been up to date with anyone. Um, probably gonna go and watch uh, everyone's videos after I have finished this stuff. Uh, let's see, where do I have it? Right here. I do not have any coal here either. Uh, just take the coal out of here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I'll I'll keep this here so I can grab new stuff for in here. I'm just gonna grab a, a bunch of coal. Oh, there's still cactus screen in here and still iron in here. That's great. All right, let's go back and we'll just fly back quickly. It's actually quite easy to get there, uh, especially if you just walk over to cats build go all over the, to the top uh, you can easily just glide down to to our base but you can do it with one rocket if you want to if you really uh, try to do it right see we just used only one rocket this time uh, and here we are again don't drop into that stuff all right uh, where is the guy it's still here 17 that's not too bad I think uh, I'll just trade all of this away <laughs> or as much as I can is this you yes this is you I will trade some more glass for you I really enjoy the gl glass trades for some reason even though we will get enough glass over here uh, his last oh that's a lot so this is probably gonna be a good book most likely but it's way too expensive so we have to find a better one it's not even good. It's fire protection. It's not even good. All right. But this guy... Oh, hello. Uh, this guy has Suck Touch. So that is great. And it has a good paper trade. Uh, this guy has a bad paper trade. And a blast protection book. Which is bad too. Uh, but I will probably do a paper trade with him. Uh, instead of a normal trade to actually get him. Actually, that's why we gone all the way up to here because we did a couple of paper trades with them uh, never mind then uh, but I will um, probably go and grab some sugarcane from from town and build a little ghetto sugarcane farm over here uh, so I will be back with you guys once I have done that all right the sugarcane farm is done uh, I've used the best possible layout, of course, because it's just the best possible layout. You can put the most in the uh, sugarcane in the least amount of space. Um, and it's, it's not too big, but uh, it, it will help us, of course. So what we need to do next is make a, um, a leather farm as well. So get a couple of cows over here. Uh, but that I will do with in, in between the episodes, of course. Um, so uh, this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I would like to see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to catch all of these episodes, of course. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.